It has this NVIDIA. I don't know if you guys can see this NVIDIA. This is very good for graphics, like graphics designing. And um, this is also a very good computer if you are someone who is into coding and tech and data science, data analysis. This is a computer that you definitely need if you're into software engineering. It's budget friendly. It's not as expensive as the Mac. It's a Windows 11. It has a very long battery life. It also has that fingerprint option. So I'll try to set it up. computer is for tech based purposes specifically tech purposes today I have a lot of things on my plate I have a lot of things to do a lot of places to be at I have some errands to run a lot of driving for me so I already know I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow one of us is having a bridal shower it's a surprise bridal shower it's going to be a boho themed bridal shower I already have my dress I don't know like what I'm supposed to wear on my feet like I honestly this is so last minute easy my friend is coming today we are both going to the bridal shower tomorrow I guess I will see you guys <laughs> I'll see you guys hey guys what's 
up guys <laughs> anyway good morning or is it good afternoon so today is the day of the bridal shower Israel is around you just saw her in the background and we just finished filming a video together everywhere is still a mess <laughs> like let me show you see everywhere is still kind of a mess and definitely clear it up but right now we want to go to Sephora because she wants to get some things I think she wants to get setting powder and I want to check out vitamin C because my vitamin C serum has finished so I want to see what they have and if they don't have what I'm looking for I'll just go to the drugstore and get my regular regular vitamin C serum that I use and then also SPF I am running out of like the SPF moisturizer so we'll get those things I'm really not buying too much like we're very specific we want to what we want to buy because Men, we are strapped for time, yo. We're gonna start heading out right now. the mall from Sephora and this is what I got these are things that I got honestly speaking like I don't even know like I only plan to buy like two things there is one particular item that I wanted to buy and I'm so happy I saw it in store and then some other things and I ended up buying like a bunch of things I don't know I don't know anyway I'm just gonna do a mini unboxing so the first thing that I got was the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution I have used this before and so I know it's good I use on my underarms especially after waxing because I always wax my underarms I don't shave then the next thing that I have or that I got is the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary two percent plus b5 this is really good it's a really good hyaluronic acid moisture because i tend to have dry face the other thing that i got again is the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i've never used this niacinamide serum before but i've heard some good things good reviews about it and so i was like okay i'll just try it this actually wasn't really on my list to buy but i just wanted to try it out you know and plus it's kind of cheap the other thing that i wanted to get was 15 percent so this is inky list 15 percent vitamin c i've used this before and so it finished so i'm basically replacing the one that was finished and this one i am super super excited about this is the main reason why i wanted to go and check out sephora because like i have been wanting to get this for the longest possible time so and this is the laneige sunscreen in spf uh it's SPS, spf 50 so broad spectrum and I believe this is also for UVA and UVB as well. So Laneige, <laughs> I'm so excited to try this. The one thing that I'm excited about again as well is that it leaves no white cast. So I've seen a lot of people use Laneige, not just on YouTube, but I've seen a lot of people use Laneige, especially, you know, people who have the same color as I do, even in the ads also. So I'm going to try it out for myself and see Make sure that there is no cast when it comes to skincare especially for sunscreen spf i'm very particular about, about what kind of products i like to use products that i know work good on black skin if a product does not work on dark skin 
then it's just not for me period based on what i've seen i know it's this is good for dark skin another one that i know is good for dark skin is la roche posay but <laughs> let's be honest la roche posay is very expensive okay it's really high end especially when it comes to sunscreen another one that i know that works and is like an alternative is CeraVe moisturizing lotion with spf 30 that is the one that i currently use that's what i have on my face right now when it comes to skincare make sure that you have sunscreen on it doesn't matter whether you're a male female non-binary whatever you choose to identify as make sure you're wearing sunscreen every single day even if you don't go out because honey skin cancer does not care about the color of your skin okay so don't let anybody tell you nonsense don't let anybody tell you that you don't need sunscreen especially if you're a person of color or if you're a black person guys wear that sunscreen do you understand wear that sunscreen and then the last thing that i got is the laura messier translucent setting powder laura messier translucent setting powder in medium deep this color is a color that works best for me i have used this before and i know that this is really good but then it finished and i haven't actually I haven't actually replaced this in like a year it's been over a year since i last used this because the one that i had finished and this is in a mini size as well that's it for the unboxing right now i want to start getting ready for this bridal shower i will see you guys when i'm all dressed up hey guys so we are here at the bridal shower location and we just got here we're actually late because this is almost 5 p.m and it was supposed to start 4 p.m but you know nigerian time God, the decorations are so cute <laughs> let me just show you what the decorations look like quickly you guys ready <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I was using my hand to cover it. No. I was using my hand to cover There's a reason. So, right now, um, just kind of stepped away from the group. We're not all here, actually. Some people are actually late. We're like, how many are we? Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, we're nine. And that means there are 11 more people that are supposed to come. And they're not all here. So, <laughs> Let me just sit down. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. Good evening. This is one of the organizers <laughs> for the bridal shower. Um. Hi. Oh my God, I love your heart. I want to steal your heart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyway guys, it's not your time to sit down. It's a picnic style bridal shower, but it's not your time to sit down on the grass. So me, I just want to sit down on this chair. And I also want to take some pictures, you know, thumbnail pictures for the gram. Yeah. <laughs> Group picture, all right. Yeah. Where did Rose's proposal happen? 
Uh-oh. Ranch <laughs> truck. <laughs> nice ranch truck. I, def I definitely know that one. Yeah, you wear Number that. nine. What's Rose's most annoying habit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody mm -hmm. have some. <laughs> Number ten. Who is messier? Rose or her future spouse? Mm. Number eleven. What's Rose's guilty pleasure? I know that one. <laughs> Number 12. Who is her most embarrassing crush? So mean like celebrity. Like something that she's embarrassed to say. If you don't if it's not applicable, it could be she doesn't have one. Just get me out of here.